you guys on BSC1 again, and tomorrow I'm going to be going to cities in Ash, someplace in Oregon. And this is my deck. So I decided to go with a more bulky variant of Yeviltal. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, but bulky, as it's called, has been doing really well lately, so I decided I would try it out too. My friend Chris Collins kind of made it up, so I kind of tailored it to my version, and this is it. So I had to start with three Yeviltal. Um, some people like four, and I can understand why you'd want four, but I think three is enough, so yeah, three is, three is fine. I like two Yeviltal. Um, also, some people like to run three, or maybe even four of those, but uh, I find that two is enough, and I only really want to use one per game anyway to get the seven prize trade going, so um, two seems to be good for me. <coughs> Then, as far as Dark Rye, I also have two of these because, <coughs> really, uh, you don't need more than that. Uh, no one really runs three Dark Rye, and some people run one, but I don't like that because it's not consistent. You can have one prized. Uh, you draw it less of the time if you only have one, and I find that two is just really good, especially if you want to actually attack with Dark Rye, which I do a lot of the time. People forget you can attack with Dark Rye, but um, it's actually still a really good attacker, and it helps a bunch against uh, anyone running Manetric. <laughs> And then one Spirit Tomb, this is just to help the Resident Genesec matchup. Um, that's mm, kind of bad matchup, so that's it just makes the matchup that much better, so that's why we just have one as attack. And then one Keldeo, this is just to help against any deck running lasers. <coughs> and it um, actually, in general, it just helps because, you know, you just have something that can rush and retreat so that you can um, essentially switch into whatever you want every single turn. So Keldeo is just, it gives you more flexibility. <coughs> And then as supporters go, there's four Sycamore, uh, you can play Juniper if you want, same thing. Everyone plays four of those. Four N, I actually want to play three N, uh, call me crazy, but I like lower counts of N if I don't have to run four. Um, the reason being is Verse Seeker's out now, so I can grab the N's back whenever I need them late game. Um, so, uh, I actually don't like playing N early game. Um, if I don't have to, so if I can play another supporter instead, I like that. I might drop one out for Ashana. I know that seems a little bit ridiculous, but it might not be that ridiculous in the near future. <coughs> two chorus. Uh, anything more than two chorus will give you bad draws early game some of the time, so I like to just do two. Um, plus, this deck has three reverse seekers, so you can get it back whenever you need it. Two seems to be substantial. And then I'm actually missing one of my Verse Seekers because my friend Charlie uh, didn't give it back to me after he used it. So we got three Verse Seeker, or two in one proxy. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll have to figure out how to get another one tomorrow at the tournament. Maybe someone can trade me or something. But anyway, oh yeah, and the reason why I run three is just because Verse Seeker is incredibly good. Um, I'd run four, but it's bad to start with early game before you actually have a supporter in the store pile. And then two bikes. Um, I don't like having five item-based draw cards, but... Um, really, I don't know what else to run, like Bianca's, maybe Skyla's, neither of those cards are good in this deck, so, <clears throat> um, in this deck I think Bicycle's just super helpful because you can get the, you know, the energy when you need it, or the Ultra Ball, or whatever you need, um, I feel like Dark Decks really just benefit from Bicycle's a lot, and I'd kind of like to run three, but I, the more that I think about it, if I had room for a third Bicycle, I'd just put in more, like, Verse Seeker or something else. <laughs> and then three Lysander, uh, this is just because this deck... Um, the bulky variant, rather than the straight, you know, the old tall variant with the lasers, uh, two shots way more, so with Lysander you can just bring up whatever they, you know, put on their bench, so, uh, yeah, Lysander just helps, you know, finish those knockouts, and it wins games, honestly, it wins games a lot, and then my one tech supporter is one Pokemon Center lady, uh, this will just get you out of, um, you know, status conditions, which will help sometimes, Keldeo will do that most of the time, but, um, it also heals 60, so that's gonna help a bunch against Dawn Fan. um, that's mainly what it helps against, but it honestly just helps against everything, it can just help in random times, and when you have, three reverse seeker you can get it kind of whenever you need it as long as it's in your discard pile so uh i think this is a good one card tech if you need room for something else you could probably drop this for something else but um i like it <clears throat> and then i have one scoop up cyclone this might seem weird um you might think why am i not running computer search but uh scoop up cyclone is just really good in this deck it's really defensive this deck's really defensive um so you want to have cards like scoop up cyclone and you don't really need computer search because the deck uh doesn't 
really need that added consistency. It's already consistent enough as it is, and just having this as an option uh, it really sometimes is just very good, very, very good. It also works as a switching card sometimes when you don't have an energy on something, um, which is something people don't really realize, but it does help with that sometimes as well. <coughs> uh, one professor's letter, this is essentially just my ninth dark. Um, you could make it a ninth dark if you want, but I like that you grab two because if you have that ultra ball in your hand, you can ultra ball away to dark with professor's letter, but I'm still on the edge. I've always, um, been debating running nine dark or eight and one professor's letter. I've, I've never really decided which is better in this deck, and I guess most of the pro players, or better players, I guess we'll say, um, use professor's letter instead, and that's the main reason why I've just kept with it, but I still think that a ninth dark might be better. <clears throat> one max potion, this is just to heal anything that uh, took damage maybe early game, maybe you have a dark ray active, and then you set up a Keldeo with a dark energy on it, and your opponent does damage to your dark ray, and it's just a liability later, you can just use max potion to get that off. Also, if something does damage to your baby Veltal, you can max potion it on the next turn, and then just keep using a Living Wing. Max potion's great in this deck. I'd like to run three, but I actually just can't find room for it. Um, I mean, I could. I could cut that Pokemon Center Lady for it, but I figure they're both healing cards, so... Uh, then three of Shadow Circle. This is mostly used as a uh, defensive stadium, meaning you just counter other people's stadiums. That's basically most of the reason for it. Um, but it also helps against Minetric decks or anything that just runs Minetric, um, or anything that has Raichu or Dedenne. Um, it'll just stop all those electric Pokemon and any fighting Pokemon too. Fighting Pokemon aren't as big right now, but um, I guess Dawn Fan still is, so you can stop them from hitting Dark Rifle Weakness, which helps a lot. Um, but it, does, it doesn't help a ton against Donphan because they run like three or four stadiums anyway, usually, so. Two E-Hammers. <clears throat> um, I'd like to run three, but you can't really find room. Uh, there's other stuff that's just more important. Uh, I think two is still a good, consistent number, so I like two. Two Crushing Hammer. This could easily be up to four if you want, but I like two Headringers uh, to go with it. But you could easily cut, you know, two Crushing Hammer for two Headringer, or two Headringer for two Crushing Hammer if you want to make it that way. I just like the split between the two, because um, early game you can put these on Brazilian uh, EXs, um, and that'll stunt their ability to, you know, do stuff. But the thing is, if they get a Muscle Band on a Brazilian or a Genesect or whatever, then you can't put these on them, so you're going to have to use Crushing Hammers instead. So it basically just gives you two options. Um, they're both mainly there to hurt Freezing Genesect decks, and a little bit in the mirror match as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Three Ultra Balls. I'd like to have four, but um, other stuff was just more important than four, so I guess we're left with three. Um, this is really mostly there to get energy in the discard pile, but it also helps to search out Pokemon, so Ultra Ball's great. <clears throat> name my team after it. Uh, three Hard Charm. This is just super defensive. Uh, helps a ton against Dawn Fan. Helps against everything, really, but um, mainly it helps a bunch against Dawn Fan. This is the reason why this deck has such a great Dawn Fan matchup. Uh, but yeah, three is a good count. I'd like to run four, but uh, four sometimes gets um, clunky and it clumps in your hand a lot, and you don't want it as much, and you're getting it too often. So I think three is a good number. And two energy switch. I'd like to run three, but um, like I said, this deck doesn't have a ton of space just because I'm running so many things in it. So two, uh, you know, works. <coughs> um, but yeah, I think three. When you run three, you usually end up discarding one of them and stuff like that. Um, it works in Vrizian Genesect, but uh, I'm not sure even Vrizian Genesect really needs the three. It just kind of helps. And then as far as dark go, got three, six, eight dark. Uh, eight's a solid number, like nine. Like I said, I might drop that professor's letter for the ninth, but nine is solid. It's, uh, you know, pretty consistent. It's not super, super consistent, but it's pretty consistent, so <coughs> I think it works. And then to round that out, there's four double colors, which is pretty standard. Um, I actually tried running three and then nine dark uh, last tournament, which ended up being a bad idea. I should have just kept with a regular four, eight. But anyway, that is the entire deck. Um, if you haven't seen Bulky before, I know a lot of people aren't really doing deck profiles for Bulky yet. So uh, that's it. Wish me luck at Cities tomorrow.